All right, how do they how do they do this? Oh, oh, I got a short finger. Let's try the other hand. There, that was easy. All right, it's here. Deer Camp 21, here we come. Who's ready for dad to go to deer camp? Oh, uh, yes. Pretty excited? Uh-huh. So you're excited that I'm leaving? No. Don't leave. off the grocery store for some quick odds and ends and then gonna swing into the local gun dealer grab some ammunition for Lacey's gun for the end of the week and then I'd like to think the next stop camp but we've got a few hours of light and there's some snow up around camp so I may swing in on some back roads uh, just check to see if any deer cross areas that we've shot deer in the past so yeah we'll see what's going on. Well we still have some snow up here in some of the cooler areas so where it doesn't get direct sun exposure. Um, so I'm going to go up here, see if I can see any deer sign. We Years ago, three or four years ago, there was quite a bit of deer sign in here in this area, but they cut the heck out of it. I think it was last year. And yeah, it's pretty much dried out. But it's Sunday and there's some snow, and I'm just curious, so why not take advantage of it? So we'll go up here and take a look. See what we can find. A couple partridges flew in there. Right by the, we'll see if we can go get them. Get some video of them. Oh, there he goes right there. Right in here. Yep, there he is. There's one. There goes the other one. That's good. All right. Another partridge just took off. There's three. Nothing recent in the snow. Looks like there might be some of them in my view that are older. Anyway, like I said, it was Last year wasn't too good. They cut all this area out quite a bit. So anyway. Let's take a ride up around here real quick. And then we'll go see dad at camp. Up to. I think he's 
going on? Hi Paul, how are you? Taking a nap. Uh, off and on. Off and on. Smells good. Yeah, yeah. Just watching the, the Benoits. Too bad we don't have a uh, deer tag. Well, Lacey's got one. Well, yeah, she's not here. Uh, how could we be so stupid, Paul? <laughs> uh, at I least might, one of us. I might do things different next year. <laughs> at least one of us could have held off and uh, kept a tag. Oh well. Well, we'll do a quick tour of the camp. That thing's for sure. It'll eventually Maybe show up. Dad's room. It'll eventually show up. When and where? Go figure. Dad misplaced some SD cards. <laughs> sometimes that, that doesn't happen. Uh, sometimes doesn't doesn't misplace anything. Uh, okay. You replace you replace the front wall uh, front wall this summer. This no, summer? I, last year. Last year. Uh, you, you, wind wind doesn't blow through it anymore. No, not so much. When was the camp built then? Uh, I think in the fifties, in the nineteen fifties. And then it was actually built by Giggy, a Giggy from Fort Fairfield. And then Grant bought it at a card game, right? Well, he was, yeah, it was Albert Stevens, a lawyer from Prescott, had owned it. He had eight kids, so there was ten of them. It was too small for, for the family. He built a new camp down the lake. Dad was up here. He was, he's a good friend of Dad's, and Dad bought it. They were at a card game, yeah, a bunch of men, and uh, he offered it to Dad, and Dad bought it. And he didn't tell Graham. Which well. didn't go over real big with... Uh, she had, with your grandmother she had, when he when she found out four kids yeah we were yeah three three I don't think Jeff was born at the time I don't think right. Jeff was I think there was three kids and we were all living on one floor at the house you guys are all a year apart right yeah pretty much two years right. yeah Leslie and I were two yeah years at least you would like that if I two years so most everything Linda and I were a year apart and then uh, skipped uh, skipped a year and then uh, and then uh, my bedroom. Listen to him out there. Can't find it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the pictures of that big buck. Let's get a big buck on the trail camera. So anyway, here's this was the old porch, and they redid it into a bedroom. Nice. Seven and a half pound salmon dad caught. Fly fishing in the fall. Has a nice kite on it. Can't find it? Nope, I can't. I thought uh, you had... Did you leave it in the... No, no, there. Dad, what that deer weigh? That ten pointer with the double throat patch? That was uh, that weighed two hundred and forty pounds, but it was. But it hung for a week. It hung. Yeah, I shot it first thing Monday morning, Thanksgiving week, and we didn't weigh it until the the following Sunday. So it was basically a full week that it hung up. So. And what that one weigh? That was two o five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a mastic buck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was scored 147. 147. You needed 140 to make mass. Yeah. And it, uh, it's perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. Deer scattered oh, oh I think I might know where those are. Well, what is it? Uh, let me go out and check the console. Another trout that was caught up here. That one was a five pound brook trout. Or just shy of five pounds, I think. And I had caught one. That was five pounds. Where's that? They don't have that mounted, but you got a picture of it. Anyway, it was fat. It was like 21 inches. Yeah, it blows. Uh, I don't know if we can see that. 
younger version of me. That's it. So yeah, we've got deer heads and racks from all the previous years scattered between uh, here, my house, and mom and dad's house. So he brought a couple of the nicer ones from his house up here. And uh, still got some big 200 pounders down at his house that he shot. Um, some moose from previous years. Anyway, gotta finish the seal them. And we did the roof. He's done a lot of work at this place. I think the kitchen's gonna be next. And uh, just does a little bit year by year, picks away at it. Um, but yeah, it's, the camp's got a lot of history for us. But And it's been deer camp for the past five or six years, ten years maybe. We've had various deer camps over the years, campers pre in years, and then camps up in the North Main Woods uh, that we deer hunted, but the deer population isn't that good up there right now, so we don't go up there Thanksgiving. I think we stopped going up there early 2000s. Um, I would like to go back up there. I'd like to... I'd like to try wall tenting. I think that'd be a fun, fun experience for sure. So, yeah, it'll be a fun week. We'll have a good time.